Here's the deal. I had some bait left over, um, just sitting in the fridge. Wasn't gonna let it go to waste. So uh, I'm down here on East Knee using it up. That's what I've got. I'm gonna try out a few things. I don't know, man, I haven't been down here. It's just a relaxed kind of thing, really. I haven't been down fishing without not doing, without the match scene for a long time, man. I'm feeling really good about it, so. All right, I got ragworm from the other night. I've got some mackerel. Uh, some squid. And there's some crabs in the freezer. So I'm gonna try these. I'm gonna put one rod out for a ray kind of thing, uh, hopefully, or a bigger, just so I can put out a bigger bait. Um, and the other rod, I'm just gonna scratch around. There has been talk of dabs and place coming out on this beach. So I'm gonna give it a shot and see what we can get into and use up this bait. It's better to use it out there fishing than chuck it in the bin. So don't chuck it in the bin. Go fish with it, man. All right. So we are finally, finally gonna get ready to get out in the water. I've got my three hook clip down. I've got my mackerel to tip off my rag arm with. Just little slivers. Make sure that hook point shows, man. Just like so. And we'll get that bad boy out, dude. Uh, technical difficulties. I made up some uh, rigs for the bagno bar. However, I forgot to put the clip on. Duh. These little bits of mackerel, they're only fingernail size, man. And when you cut it, there's a big old chunk of meat. If you cut half that meat off, you've got a nice little tipper. Just like so. Just like that. For my other bit, I've got some crab. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this bait on the bagma bar, hopefully, to get a ray in. I haven't fished with crab during the winter time, so I don't know how it's gonna work. Unless you try, you don't know, man. My main thing really here is to get a ray tonight. That's my hope. So, just gonna cut that in half, just like that. They've got two pieces of crab, just like this. I'm gonna go, I'll whip that on my hook, and I'll get that bad boy out as well, man. And then we're seriously fishing, no joke. I just had a little knock then. Well, we've been in the water 10 minutes. Just a little knock on the left hand rod. The one with the ragworm on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it. If you uh if you get it, if you think you get a bite on and it's just a little tap tap tap. Don't strike into it right away. Let it develop. See what happens, man. I mean, you could get one fish on one hook and then you could have another fish come get on that hook another fish come get on that hook so you never know man all right i'm going to let this develop a little bit more and then we'll go and pull it in man all right, that left hand rod hasn't really developed into much. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go down, reel it in. Have a check on it, man. See if there's anything on it. Yeah, I'm not feeling any weight on it.
Oh, I don't know, maybe. Oh yeah, there's actually a fish on there, man. There's actually two. There it goes, a double shot of white in. <laughs> nice. There we go. Little double shot of white in, man. Bottom of the tide, not much happening in the moment. There's no tide run. There's no nothing. Man. Ah. Right, I'm gonna pull this big rod in, I think. The right hand rod. I think I'm gonna pull in. And I'm gonna throw mackerel and squid wrap on it. And see if I can get anything. I'm, I don't know, man. I don't know. We've had three whiten. So, you know, we're out here hunting for rays, catching whiten. Oh. oh, well. All we're doing is we're using a bait, and it's beautiful out, man. YouTube. Rather be doing this than sitting at home watching TV. No offense to the missus. <laughs> Some weight on there. We got some weight. It's probably a white in. Probably something. Double shot of Wyan. <laughs> yes. Why isn't it match day, man? Weird. How they're biting right now, man. Cause I saw one just like the rod tip, just a pull down, and that was it. It must have been both of them. Oh, this one's pretty deep. Okay, I'm gonna need the disgorger. This one. This here is a disgorger. And how you use it, you get your line. And it's got a little, like a thing. <laughs> That's where you slide the line through, like so, like that. In the fish's mouth, pull it down to the side. And it comes right out, man, just like that. And there you go. Let's get these buddies back, dude. I'm trying out something new with the lighting today, so let me know what you think. And I'm gonna sit here, and hopefully, tide's starting to run now. I'll be able to see the next bites, because I haven't seen them. Like I said, that one, that was just, it was just a pull down, and that was it. I came out here to try some stuff tonight. For one, to use up bait. Two, to try out some stuff for the next match, which seems to be really working at the moment. I'm really happy with it, so. Cool, man. All right, I'm gonna go and wash this rod, and hopefully I can see the bite this time. Tide running now, and I'm thinking my bait rod just went slack. So, let's pull it in, see if there's anything on it. And if there isn't, then we can bait up again. Baitless. So that's something. Bite right on there, man. Come on. On the mackerel. Oh yeah. Right, let's get this together. All right, you guys saw that bite, right? I wasn't imagining it. <laughs> I wasn't imagining it. I know I wasn't. 
There is nothing on here, dude. He's rattling away. Well, it was. Until I put the camera on it. And then it stops. Every time. Never fails, man. Every time I get the camera on the rod, it seems to go camera shy. Oh, see? <laughs> ah, that's a nice bite. What do we got on there? Well, there's something on it. Not very big, whatever it is. Probably a white and, oh, hang on. Well, 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 look at that. Ah, we got a dab. Yes, woo, all right. We got a dab, man, woo, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's good, man. Nice. So they're around, they're coming in now. Yep. That's encouraging. All right, well, not the target species of a ray, but I'm thinking a dab is in the ray family. It's flat, man. Yeah, that was cool. That was, that was, uh, that was really welcoming, man. Put up a mean old bite. Boom, that was crazy. I'm gonna pull that big rod in with the crab on. And I'm gonna put a lump of mackerel on. Because that's what I got my nice pull down on. Wow. So I'm gonna go and check it out. And see how it goes, man. Whew. Fun, good stuff. Using up bait, man. Using up the bait. It's fun. There's another white one. There's not a big old chunk of crab, dude. <laughs> greedy little boogers. Greedy, greedy, greedy. There is a rattle on there. I'm gonna let this one develop and see what we got going on here. Never fails. Never fails. Every time I put the camera on, the darn rod stops. But there is a rattle on there and I'm gonna let it develop for a little while. Hopefully, there's actually something on it this time. Out of rattle. On the left hand rod. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull it in and just see what's on it. If anything. Not sure. It's got a little bit of weight. Could be something. I think it's really small. Probably a white and they plague it right now. Come on, what do we got here? Yeah. Little white and look, little bugger. Oh, he's a little tiny dude, look at that. Biggest fish of the night right there, man. The lead's almost bigger than it. I've got the last fish bait out, or the last chunk of mackerel. I've got some worms out. I'll do, uh, I'll leave the three hook clip down out for a little bit longer. I'm gonna pull that in, see what happens with the fish bait, the chunk of mackerel. And then uh, I think what I'll do, man, is I'm gonna call it a night. It's, uh, it's been really fun, dude. I'm back out here with the sweet corn kid. He's caught a few fish. We didn't get the ray we wanted, but I mean, that would have been just a lucky thing because we only came out here to use up some bait and have like a chill chill session man chill <laughs> session man and we did it was cool man we got a few fish um so yeah might get a couple more you never know it's you know like in a match it only takes it, it takes one bait out there to get that fish man so Oh, okay, so it's 
a white in and a pout. That's cool. It's the first pout tonight, man. That's all right. I'm happy with that. Right. I think this is going to be my last chuck, man. Whew. Look at this little pout, man. What was that guy doing in the match? That little booger. All right. I don't know if I'm going to have time for one more chuck. I think I'll have one more chuck. Pull that rod in. Now one more, man. Yeah, bam! Tonight, what I've been doing with my ragworm is either tipping it off with little tiny pieces of squid or mackerel. I mean, probably half the size of my thumbnail. And it's been, it's been banging, man. But right now, all I've got on there is a ragworm. And I want to see if it makes any difference, man. So, hopefully, these last baits, something, something's gonna prove something, that's for sure. I am, hold on, hold on. Oh, thought I had a rattle there. Oh, it is a rattle. Hold on. <laughs> I was just gonna say, I'm out. No more fish. We're done. Well, we got a rattle. Let's see. Did we? I thought that that was a rattle. I'm sure it was. Anyways. <laughs> All right, guys, that's me. I'm out. Uh, we didn't get the target species. We came out here for Ray. And uh, that's not what we got. We did get a flatfish, though. We got a dab, whiting, pout. Right now, if you want to go out and just have a good time, now's the time to do it. Yeah, it's cold. But bundle up, man. Take the kids out. Get down to the beach. Chuck out some worms. And you will catch fish. You will catch fish this time of year. I'm telling you. I can almost promise you. I'm not going to because then you probably hold it against me. But yeah, all right. I'm out. I'm going to reel this line in. And then I'm going home. Thanks for coming down and enjoying the session with me, man. Make sure to hit the subscribe button you know all that youtuber jazz and all that business just hit the subscribe button give it a, give the video a thumbs up like thing it's the blue and white thumb symbol and it's right down there hit it see ya